Here we got five minutes for preparation phase. I heard a food critic was going to be here. What? We're getting another food critic? Well, I guess at that point I'll have to explain as to why. Because we were definitely not anywhere close to getting another food critic at the restaurant. Also, a couple things have been reorganized. So, uh, first things first, I learned how to do something. Aha! We can put the knife away. I kind of wanted to do it, like, you know, manually. Because I thought it would be funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I mean, that was basically close enough. But yeah. So, there's a lot of things that actually kind of happened in the background. Well, first things first. Uh, I kind of had to reset the file and get back to where I was originally. We were on day 11 in the last session and now we're actually on day eight so we're kind of ahead of schedule more or less if you think about it uh i have i think like one other yeah i have i have this thing for some reason the steak with fries which is actually not too bad of a meal it's pretty easy to make although making fries is uh kind of difficult since I don't have the means to cut the potatoes into fry-esque slices. But at least it gives me uh, a reason to use the fryers, the deep fryers here. And a spatula? Oh yeah, I have two spatulas now. So what ended up happening was I decided to regain slash reallocate my perk points and skill points because... It just wasn't working out with the setup that I had, with the build, I guess you can call it. Plus, I really wanted... Uh, what was the skill? I, it's in the computer. Um, steady hands and manager's trust. I don't really care much for anything else. Obviously, we already had thermal vision, but... Uh, manager's trust and steady hands were the two that I wanted, and unfortunately, during my level ups, I kept messing up getting them so i basically just kind of did a reset but on top of that i decided to uh do a bit of testing during the live stream i'll leave both the uh the stream channel and the uh the actual video itself in the link in the description but uh what i found out was I have been cooking steak wrong the whole time. Surprise, surprise. Because the game, like, teaches you to use the pan. And that's basically it. It tells, it teaches you to use the pan, and then it just kind of says you're on your own. And I kind of figured that, yeah, you're supposed to kind of learn as you go. But, uh, we have a freaking grilling pan here. Or, like, a grilling station. And my dumb butt just didn't think to just move over to the grilling station to actually, you know, properly cook the steak. And that's why I was getting it done at three stars rather than five stars. I also went about getting an extra baking tray because we basically kind of need it. I got the double spatula because I didn't want to have to have one spatula, drop it here, go all the way over here, realize that I need to flip the salmon if I'm cooking it, and then not have the spatula, so I just have two spatulas, one at each end. And also, also, I'm going to go ahead and waste a little bit of money here. I'm going to take onion, and I found out what this thing does. It's a slicer. It's so cool. It cuts them kind of weirdly proportioned, but it's a slicer nonetheless. And it's really good at what it does. So, yeah. I basically have insane amount of knowledge now. Yeah, knowledge. But, uh, with said knowledge, I ended up actually 
Oh, I thought that was stained for a second. I'm like, why is that stained? But no, it's like a shadow. Yeah. Uh. Whoop. That's not where I want that. There we go. But I gained an insane amount of knowledge. That I basically kind of pushed us a little forward in the uh, the career mode. So now we're dealing with another, obviously a uh, a food critic. But we're going to be dealing with another food credit to get another star. And we actually have a lot more money because we've been doing quite well. However, I kind of want... Uh... Something else. Not another cutting board. Cutting board is still wonky. But the tutorial does tell you to put food on the cutting board and then season it on the cutting board. But, as we've realized in the last few sessions... For whatever reason, the cutting board is absorbing all of the se uh, the seasons. So, we're open for business. First order should arrive any moment now. Okay. Uh. Yeah, the cutting board is just absorbing the seasoning for no dumb reason. And I'm not getting anything on the food. So, I have to put the food somewhere else, unfortunately. But also, I want these ladles. Specifically, the 150 milliliter ladle. Because that makes dishing out the soup a hundred times better. And I never really thought that, yeah, probably should, uh... Probably should have a ladle. Don't really need a timer. I don't know what the point of the cookbook is. I actually tried testing that. Can't really open it, though. Also, also... I can set up the meal to be on the screen i don't have to look at it anymore and like constantly go to the computer i am just the biggest dumb that has gained smarts and i don't think that really works but yeah i can just do that now so salmon we can actually start properly cooking stuff and I can just look up, find that it's, ah, five grams. And I kind of just reorganized the spices. No, excuse me. Whoops. Well, you got a little extra pepper on your, uh, your salmon. Uh, one gram shouldn't be a problem. And then we need to do 10 milliliters of sunflower oil on the pan. Uh, 11 is fine. And then we need to boil the potatoes. We actually need to get that done now. Because those things take a little extra. Ah. We can easily do everything now. When we just have the knowledge. Need salt. Yeah. Who would have thought that things would be so much easier when you're smart? Definitely not me and my dumb butt. All I understand is that when you're smarter, you have less common sense. And for whatever reason, this large plate here doesn't take away money but i also find that you can also get refunded from the plates that you buy which also makes no sense why would they bother making you pay for all the plates if they're just going to refund you unless like the customer gets angry and breaks the plate because you made a really poor meal i mean that's possible but i wouldn't see why they would do that at that point just ban them from the store Slash restaurant. Alright. Well, uh... Hopefully we can get... A steak order. And then we can actually properly make it. What?
Yeah, I just kind of forget that these things here are uh, devices that I can use. And I've just been kind of letting him sit around and do nothing. Let's grab a large plate. Potatoes are almost done. Salmon's almost done. Alright. Potatoes done. And salmon. There we go. Perfectly cooked salmon. There you go. Yeah, five star. Fantastic. Yeah, plate returned and got a tip. Yeah, I don't know why they bother making me have to pay for the plates. Food critic is here. All right. Uh, well, let's see what he wants. Ah, oh, he wants the tomato bisque ultra. The frick? Oh, well. But we know how to make it. We just gotta take the uh, fruit processor. Gotta dump some cucumbers in it. Tomatoes. Red bell pepper. And some garlic. And I know it requires bread, but it requires half bread for some odd reason. And we can take our properly placed knife, ha! Ooh. Apparently, time slows down, too. That is a little annoying, honestly. Don't know why you would need to do the sound effect. I guess just to verify that it's being done. Alright. And now we just gotta add... Don't forget... Yeah, well, bruh, come on, man. I just started making it. Shut up. Olive oil and white vinegar. There you go. Perfect. Ah, very nice. And then salt and pepper. Uh, I'm pretty sure I turned the music back on, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> the trademark copyright not sponsored pause menu, uh, explained it to me. There we go. We can do that. Uh, so that's everything, right? Yep. And then we can get the deep plate. And with our new ladle, we can dish it out properly without tipping too much or too little into the bowl. Ah, fan frickin' tastic. It's amazing. And we just got to get chives. Uh, eight grams. Chives. Two, four, six, eight. There we go. And here's your tomato bisque ultra. Perfect five star. Amazing. Guess what I like to see. Great job. The food critic is impressed. And so am I. I was always impressed, though, girl. Whoop. I just kind of pooped that out. Eh, don't let the uh, the health inspector know that. But anyways, so we got two meals. And the salmon. And the steak. Now, the steak... Well, salmon's gonna be easy. We just need to... Ah, dump that garbage. And start it back up. And we need salt. Twenty grams, there we go. I'm gonna move the tomato bisque ultra combo over here. 
Grab some patats. Alright. And now what we're gonna need to do... Is we're gonna need to grab a steak. Yep. Actually, no, I wanna grab the fries. Well, the fries will uh, actually be fairly fast to cook, surprisingly. I don't know why they are. But, uh... The steak, salt, pepper, and then fry for... Whoops. For, uh... Four to five seconds on each side. Okay. Let's get the steak. And season it. I'm surprised they don't make me tenderize it. All things considered. That would be a nice little feature. But I mean, you know. I guess... Uh, they don't want you to get too overwhelmed with the ridiculousness of what this game demands. I'm going to put the steak on this thing because we're going to have to put uh, some sunflower oil. Yeah, dump that in this for the salmon. Got to make sure that. Oh. Perfect. They don't mix. Salmon. And salmon is just salt and pepper as well. Yeah, such simple dishes. There we go. And pepper. Alright, now we can start frying them up. Uh, we're going to grab... How much of the... Potatoes? Okay, so that once two of them, I have to cut them into... Kind of grams. Now... This freaking thing is hard to do. So, we're going to cut it... In half. Let them fall. And then with steady hands, we're going to do... One, two, three, four, grab that, try to dump that into the basket, definitely gonna need to check in with Perfect. I need to check in with our fried stuff and make sure it's not being overdone. The steak. Yeah. The steak is for some reason not cooking. Okay, there we go. Salmon. Perfect. Potatoes, those are fine. Alright. Everything is good. We're doing spectacular. We just need to cut one last set of potatoes. Cut in half. And then cut into thirds. This is basically the best ish way to more or less guarantee that they're cooked properly in the portions that the customer wants. If they would just give us Excuse me. Had to do something in the background. If they would just give us like a potato cutter thing that would actually cut it into fries properly then uh alright six done. Then we wouldn't have problems. Alright, so we need to get... Uh, wait, did I... Potato? Oh, I didn't season them. Frick. Uh, I need to season them. Sam is almost done. The potatoes are done. Alright. Uh, salt. Got to season these. Yeah, 
Yeah, seven will be fine. Alright. And then we can actually use this. Fill. Fry. Look how fast that cooks. Practically don't want to leave, but, you know, I kind of have to. I got to give someone their salmon. Alright, so that's one meal. There's the salmon. Excellent. I guess it's happy. You did okay, I guess. Yeah, Tomato Bisque Ultra. It's a good thing I didn't dump that out. Stop. Drain. Let's get a large plate. Let's grab the steak. Anything else I need to do with the steak? Garnish with mo uh, rosemary. Rosemary, twig, 10 grams. Okay. Uh... A lot of potato pieces. Right. No. It's hard to select each of these things without grabbing the basket itself. Fortunately, uh. Get on the plate. There we go. Perfect. All right. Here's your steak and patats. Oh, frick, no. I, uh, practically forgot the rosemary. Uh, Arsley, shut up, I'm walking here. Frickin' douchebag. Which one's the rosemary? Cilantro, chives. Oh, that's the rosemary. I need two of those. I thought that was something else. Here you go. Steak and french fries. Yeah, a perfect five star that was definitely not hampered in any capacity due to cutting technique. No. Shut up, you don't understand cutting technique. Work faster, shut up. I'm doing what I can. I'm doing my job. I am chef. So. Basically just do this. Then we just get chives. I don't know why the chives have such a weird hitbox that they kind of separate from one another as they're going into the dish. Here's your tomato bisque ultra. Fantastic. Perfect five star. Nothing wrong with it. Alright. So now with the hamburger... Ah, the German potato salad. I have not done this yet. I don't know how to do any of that. So we need to bake the top and bottom bun, obviously. Let's grab that. Bottom, top. that in there. We'll come back to that later. Uh, burger meat, salt and pepper, 3 gram. Um, right. There we go. That guy got run over. Should have been listening to the horn, man. Alright. Here we go. And then we need to fry that. And now we also need to find a way to slice up some tomato and uh, onion. So fry. Need a tomato. Swing. Uh. Uh, I guess that'll be good enough. 
So that's the piece that I want. And onion. That's not the piece that I want. There we go. So we got the onion and we got the, uh, the tomato. How's the burger doing? Burger needs to be flipped. And I think with that, there we go. We can start working on this. I do need to cut some cheese though. That's, uh, be a bit of a problem. Oop. Just gonna chop this piece right here. You guys need to chill, seriously. Okay, that's done. Burger meat. Done. I actually need to put ketchup on that. What if it, you know, the customer doesn't want ketchup? What if they want mustard? What if you're stupid? What if you don't understand what the customer wants? What if the customer doesn't know what they want? And what you're doing is all in vain, because they're going to ask for something different anyways. Whoop. Alright, we got the burger. We got the cheese. We got the tomato. And the onion. I know I said that backwards, but... You know, it's what it is. And let's see. Uh, top with bun. Let's see how they like this presentation. It's a build your burger. You have to put it in the order that you want it. All right, so wrong amount of product. So I didn't chop it properly, but yeah. It's still four and a half stars ish, so I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, this one, oh, pork. Okay, well, um, I need to work with this one first, so I need to boil some potatoes. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Get the trash out of here. There we go. I wonder if I'll even have time to do this, honestly. They seem to like to cut me off halfway through like the last two orders 16 huh oh i ran out of salt well frick never thought i'd run out of salt last order f yeah I mean, whatever. Alright. Now we need the two potatoes. We need to boil them. Is there anything else I need to prep for while, uh... Yeah, cut onion and potato into pieces. And then... Add to another pot chicken broth and white vinegar. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So it needs 500 milliliters and 20 milliliters of those stuff. So 500. There we go. That's good enough. Yeah, there we go. And then my vinegar. Need 20. There we go. 
so strange. Right. And then salt, white pepper, and sugar. Uh, I don't have. Uh oh. Well, the two orders got canceled because uh, the day was over. So all that prepping was for nothing. But I mean, we still made quite a bit of profit. We still did fairly well. It really sucks that I couldn't get those other two orders done. I need to buy me uh, white pepper and sugar. Uh, actually, I need to buy white pepper in real life because that stuff's really good. I don't use it normally in my dishes, but I need to use it more often. Anyways, so new decorations available. Uh, okay. So I got six points. Uh, earn more cooking points from dishes. I don't know if I really want that. Earn more fame. Dish streak. Cheaper products. Better tips. Uh, I'm gonna do... I really need slower cooling. Not really anything that I actually need. I think I'll just go with cheaper stuff. So cheaper liquids, cheaper products, cheaper spices. That'll be good. Uh, fast beast stroganoff over fusilli. Well, I don't want either the duck broth or the chicken leg. Those two look disgusting. I want to see this one. So, beef stroganoff, water, salt, fusilli, and then we need to cut beef chunks into pieces, onion, button, mushroom, olive oil, and beef chunk, and fry, won't let me scroll down for 100 seconds, there you go. Different button apparently is allocated to that. Transfer to plate. Add to pan. What in the frick is this recipe? They say fast beef stroganoff, but it's got like 20 freaking steps. That's not fast at all. So fry. Transfer to plate. Add to the pan. Butter. Oh, we can actually add butter, white pepper, and mushroom, fry, then add to the pan, or maybe add to another pan, chicken broth? No, it has to be to the same pan. Chicken broth, black pepper, beef chunk, and onion. And then, boil? Well, I guess because you added the broth in there, it, it now goes from... I just heard something weird outside my door. I like a dog in pain. Which is weird. Because uh, my doggo didn't jump up and scream about it. Like she normally would. Anyways. Uh, so then boil and then transfer to casserole dish. That's insane. And I only get eight minutes to present it to the customer. That's even more insane, considering all the steps I have to take to get it done. I'll accept that. Now you're going to need new ingredients for that. Thank you, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, day nine. Yeah, apparently if you do everything semi-perfect, the days practically go by faster. Or at least your, uh, your fame increases faster. Which then, you know, 
allows you to do more things quicker. I just want to double check to make sure that was clean. Gotta throw it at the wall. Got a new ingredient. Shut up, Gordon Ramsay. I know what I'm doing. Even though apparently I clearly didn't know what I was doing earlier. But now I definitely know. Today special. No! Can I change that? Why won't it let me change that? Oh, there's the decorations. Oh. How much does it cost? 300? I like the modern. Countryside. I like the 60s vibe more. Future looks kind of nice. It looks a little darker. I'll think about it. Obviously, I won't get it that until level 18. I can't. I want to do the modern. Modern looks nice. You're currently using this decoration. Good. Um. I want to make something else. The uh. The special. I should have that perk, right? Yeah, I have manager's trust. Set today's special yourself during the menu composition. I mean, that's basically like right here. All right, trophy. Screw that trophy. All right. Well, um, I don't know what to do about that. Frickin' get clean. Quit denying me. Thank you. Baking tray. Move that out here. Uh, it's not letting me move it out here. Well, let me put it on that upper shelf. That's weird. Ah, oh, my floors. They look so pretty and clean. Yeah. It'll be a shame if I drop something on the floor and make it dirty again. Meh. I think I'd like to get another cutting board, too. Just so that way I don't have to mix things up when I'm cutting things. Whoa. Whoa. That's practically perfect. All right. That works. Yeah, there we go. You know, I'm going to tell you to shut it. I don't want to deal with music anymore. Can I throw this? Whoa. Oh, wait, I have a power meter. Hold up. Whoop. Oh, I can't. Can't raise it and also do the power meter at the same time. That's kind of dumb. Ooh. I'm going to count that as a bullseye because reasons. So I can like super throw. Wow. Hold up. I can super throw. Ah! Oh. Can't really throw a pot far, apparently. Hmm. Who'd have thought? Alright. Well, that's good to know that I can wind up the shot. Seem kind of weird. That almost sounded like someone said yabba dabba do. I was like, what? The heck? You smoking? What even is that? But okay. Uh, I think we're basically done here. So we can skip the preparation phase. I really want to know how to get 
uh, the special going for myself. Ah, we can work on the, uh, the beef stroganoff. So we need to get big pot, fill it. And salt five grams. Are any of my other spices draining? Pepper is at 200. So the only one that's going to be drained is uh, pepper. I need to get fusilli. Where do I get fusilli? Uh, apparently not there. Definitely not there. Hmm. With ceiling? Products. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got a box of it. 160 grams. How do I... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's odd. Um, I'll put it right here. I don't know why a box would make glass noises unless you made a glass box, but that makes absolutely no sense. And we have to boil this. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I was going to try and, like, push all that stuff down. Alright, and then we need to get beef chunk. Beef chunk. That is a big beef chunk. And we have to cut it. We have to cut out 150 gram and put it into two pieces. Wait, why two pieces? So it was one... It was one kg. It's not kilogram, I don't think. I don't know. Basically like... Hmm. I'm gonna say like right there. 219 So we'd probably need something a little bit smaller than that Maybe like Right here 146 close enough And then this we need to break into two pieces Uh-oh Uh I lost the, uh, the beef. Whoop, there it is. Found it. Not sure why it, uh, decided to vanish on me. There you go. I think that's... What? How do I get it to... Cut into several pieces. It's still just one piece. I don't understand. Why are you being like this? Okay. What would happen if I took it over to the cutter? That actually did do two chunks. All right. Your dumb butt's going into the cutter then. It's uh, apparently you don't want to cooperate with the knife.
Okay, well, that's just apparently magic beef, then. It is, uh, unbreakable. That being said, you're trash. Alright, well, uh, I need to check in with the Lucili. Oh, my gosh. I have, a uh, might have overcooked the Fusili. So I need to chop the onions into pieces. No, I don't. I can have a cutter do that for me. Aha. Fantastic. And then button mushroom into pieces. Uh, mushroom. I need to buy that. Yep. Drop. Whoop. Might have dropped some, uh, onion bits. That's okay, though. It's the 60 minute rule. As long as I pick it up in 60 minutes, it's fine. And then, let's see. Add to pan olive oil and beef chunk. Uh, 20 milliliters. Okay. That's 21, but okay. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna have to use these bigger pieces because for some dumb reason I can't uh, can't get the actual small piece to work. That's not how that's supposed to be. Break you door. But <laughs> there you go. And it says fry for a hundred seconds. Transfer to plate. Weird. And then in another pan. Chicken broth, black pepper, beef chunk. Wait. Wait, do I only use one of each? I'm actually confused. Yeah, I think I do one of each. So one of them gets fried, the other one goes into the chicken broth. This is strange. I need this one to cook. I might actually need to buy another pan. If that's the case. Chicken broth. Uh-oh. That's, uh... Kinda not looking good. There we go. Alright, that's good enough. And then black pepper. And onion. Uh, we don't want to do, uh, the mushrooms. Yeah, 
Okay, so that beef chunk is done. I'm just so confused as to what it's asking for. Transfer to plate. Hurry it up. No, I only got a minute left. I got so much to do. And then transfer to casserole. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to fry it. And then put it in there. Um, hmm. That's strange. the onion cooked really fast well that's uh it's game over and there it goes we got overtime salmon i mean what do you expect me to do this thing's got like 20 second freaking things i need to oh my gosh i got so many orders and that's supposed to be the special for today The beef chuck takes forever to cook. And we need to transfer it to a casserole dish. Oh, wait, what about the fusilli? Wasn't I supposed to do something with that? It asked for me to make that. What do I do with it? Transfer to the casserole. Okay. I need a strainer. This is just super freaking weird. Alright. There we go. That's still on. There's no way any of this is correct. I doubt I'll get even, like, a star out of that. I got three stars. That's pretty surprising, all things considered. Okay, so the Fusili... Whoop. Fusili had too much salt. Not sure how that happened. I was pretty sure I only did five grams. But okay. And I overcooked... The mushrooms. How do I... Ha, what? Or maybe I didn't cook them at all. Maybe they're undercooked. Either way, everything else worked. I'm surprised the beef chunk was fine. The onions were fine. Because I definitely burned the onions. Actually, I'm surprised the fusilli wasn't considered uh, overcooked as well. Because I definitely burnt those too. I don't know how you even burn anything while it's being boiled. Doesn't matter. It kind of sort of worked. Uh, I'm going to hurry up on that steak. Because the steak is my pride and joy now. I got to 
prove myself. So, five, one, two, or seven. And five, one, two, pepper. And then it's wheat bell. Ten grams. And then that we can put on the actual grill. Let's move the uh, spatula. Now I'm gonna have to pause real quick. Had to make sure that my recording was good. I don't really need to worry about the salmon because salmon's easy. All right, so, oh yeah. We need to bake red potatoes. One, two, three. And we can salt those directly onto the pan. And it's nine, so basically three each. That's good. And then with the onion, we can drop that into the cutter. Uh, where is, there it is. I say, where's the container for the cutter? Bloop. There we go. Perfect. Not to worry about cutting it or doing anything dumb at all. Cause, uh, I do dumb stuff all the time. I don't need more of it. Wait, what? All right. Bake. Fry. Or grill, technically. Because, you know, that's the actual grill. Alright, we'll uh, start working on the salmon then while we're waiting on that. Plate. Um, I don't know why you're here. Other than because of the freaking beef chunk that I had to make. Drain that. Uh, sunflower. Perfect. And salt and pepper five. Check in with this. That's done. That needs to be flipped soon. Put salmon over here. We definitely need to get potatoes ready. Flip the steak. Nice. We need 20 grams of salt for that. Almost broke a plate. Alright, those potatoes are ready to be boiled. Let's check in with the steak. It's doing fine. Grab. Well, we have this plate here. Might as well use this. There you go. And the steak is done. Whoa. Don't want to drop it now. There we go. Here's your steak. Made perfect. It's definitely not leaning off the side. Five stars. Amazing. As I knew I always was. They're always going to complain about the bad cutting technique, but screw that. You don't know what cutting technique is.
you can shut your mouth. Ah, frick. The German potato salad. Water and potato. Uh, well, you're gonna have to wait on that. I have salmon to deal with. Put you here. Throw that away. Those potatoes are done. The salmon's done. All right. Your salmon. Yeah. Perfect timing, too. They were about to get up and leave and get super mad. Alright, so this thing... Let's see. Uh, I don't know about that, but okay. Said something about it not being easy, but it was, you know... Smoked trout, so. See, I need to cut onion and potatoes. Wait, do I have to cut the potatoes that I just... Oh, yeah, that's right, because this one is weird and wants me to cut the hot potato for some dumb reason. So I need to grab onion. And I need to cut that in chunks. We'll just... Throw it in here. It'll be fine. The cutter. The automatic cutter seems to do fine. Just like that. Easy. Uh. The automatic cutter doesn't do potatoes well, unfortunately. I guess while we're waiting on that, we can go ahead and start working on the trout. So, black pepper, thyme, and dill. All five grams. Whoops. Yeah, got a little extra time in there. As we all need. Just need a little extra time. Right, those are done. Got it. Clean the baking tray. Come back to that in a second. So I need to cut potatoes and then add to pot chicken broth. White vinegar, salt, white pepper. Into the same pot or a different pot? It says add to a pot. It's so weird. Um, okay. I'm going to assume they want me to put it into a different pot. Yeah, I can't cut that because, you know, it's hot. Seems silly that you want me to cut a hot potato. Need to cut them into specific amounts.
Those might be big chunks, but, uh... Oh, well. Actually, you know what? Let's do... So, oh, they want me to put the potato into the pot. That's okay, though. Or uh, not the potato, the onion. Whoop. Clean the pot. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know where that spill came from, but okay. So I'm going to have to clean that up. It's not my responsibility. Only a hundred milliliters in this thing. That means I need more. That's good. Need to add white vinegar. Uh, I don't know how much they wanted me to add. 20. Yeah. That's good. And then I need to find a way to get the onion. Separate the onion. It's too complicated. There's too much going on. Okay, I got the onion pieces. Salt and white pepper. I don't have white pepper yet. There you go. I need to do 10 grams. There you go. Put the white pepper there. Salt. And also sugar. I don't have sugar either. I still found that weird that you want sugar in your potatoes. That is, uh... Not how I roll. And mustard. Ten milliliters. Plastic bottles should not sound like glass. And then boil all that. Okay, we can start working on the trout. Uh, we just need to cut lemons into four pieces. And then we're good. Bro. Steady. Perfect. Get a plate for the fish. What am I going to need for that? I'm going to need a casserole bowl. So transfer potato and onions, drizzle and sunflower. Weird. So give me all the potatoes. Whoops. I mean to put that down. Double check everything. Alright. That's done. That's almost done. Give me the onion bits. 
and drizzle and sunflower oil. Uh, how much? 20? And then give it chives. Eight grams of chives. Whoops, I gave them uh, 10 grams, but you know what? That's fine. All right, here's your potato salad. Four star, practically five star. Nice. I am amazing. We need to hurry up with the fish. We got like less than a minute. But I mean, we're practically done here. We just need to give it horseradish. Give it the Worcestershire sauce. And we need to give it the lemons. And then we gotta get the parsley. And hurry it up. There you go. With 15 seconds on the clock. Amazing. I have impressed everyone. Including myself. Because I am just that impressionable. Wait. That's not the same terminology. Clean the cutting board. Readjust the cutting board. There you go. Gotta place it in a specific spot. Freaking who dropped a bunch of stuff on the floor? What an actual idiot. Put the pan in the back. Colander. I mean, we basically can just keep that there. In the sink. Doesn't really need to go anywhere else. Okay. What? Okay, I still have a minute to do all my prepping. Ah! I didn't mean to spill the mustard. Ah, oh, there's mustard in the pan! Disgusting! Can't have mustard in the pan. There we go. And it looks like everything else is good. Alright, fine. We'll go clean up the mess. Ooh. Ah, easy. Ah. You see that, editor? That's just how easy it is. I can learn to do your job. Yeah. Alright, everything's uh then ready to go for the next session. Alright. So with that being said. Yeah, we're gonna have to mute that because that's trademark copyright and not sponsored. But I don't wanna really go into the next day uh and then save it. I'd rather save it now and then go into the next day later. So with that being said, that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next session.